Welcome back to my vlog, y'all. Jim Fan came out with a 65 millimeter prop. And at first glance in the pictures, they looked like they might be a little wider blade than the, um, the standard uh, 65 millimeter from Pyrodrome. But once I got them, they. They look pretty similar. Might be a little bit more, if I can get them in focus. Might have a little bit more of a hump here at the, at the base. It's hard to tell. And it won't stay in focus. Thanks, Canon. Ruining YouTube. They feel about the same. Let's see how they fly on the uh, gnarly FPV Primo here. I killed my. Oh, let me find it. I killed my original all in one that I had in here, the Crazy B F4 V2. Killed it in a little nothing crash. Uh, fought with the tree for a couple of seconds. Crashed into the ground. Um, disarmed as soon as I hit the ground or right after. And one of the ESCs doesn't work now. And it's junk. So I would not recommend that board. I had a capacitor on it, everything. And it lasted about eight flights. So, I've moved on to, where is it? Oh, I got it in here, damn it. Stand by. I've moved on to the GEP RC 12 amp all-in-one. And we're gonna see how long it takes to kill one of these. I got that in my Primo. It's in there, trust me. It's in there. I'll try it on 3S, see how it goes. I'm gonna beat on it, see if I can break it. I love the color of these. Price is about the same, I think it ends up about 30 cents a piece. You get uh, eight of the gym fan for 239, and you get 20 of the pyro, the pyro props, what the? I do with my pyro props. Oh, right there. You get 20 of the pyro props for uh, $5.99, so about the same price. Ooh, let's weigh them. Why not, right? Point 0.4 grams. Yeah, it is the same. So they weigh the same. The, bra the blades look almost identical. I predict they will fly pretty much the same. We'll see. To the yard! Oh, we'll be using a uh, GN, GNB 300 3S. So that says GNB? I don't know. The, uh, the little 3S that everybody runs. See what they weigh together. I was at 69.9 grams. I think I hit 70 though. Ah, <laughs> 70.1, damn it. Added an extra zip tie to hold my capacitor. Ah, I gotta shed, I gotta shed a gram here somewhere. I gotta get back under 70. All right, let's do it. I had the TPA set at 65 for this flight with a 1450 breakpoint. If you're having oscillation problems on this GEP RC all-in-one, uh, at the end of this video I'll have a flight with uh, my <coughs> oscillator. I don't know what that li the lines are. I'm having all kinds of problems with the rapid fire connecting to uh, this EOS 2. That's the first time I've seen that kind of interference though. And then it goes away and then rapid fire connects. 
lot of power, a lot of power for such a tiny, tiny little quad. You can hear a little bit of oscillation when I land uh, some of the tricks, but uh, not like it was doing. You can't tell me this doesn't look like a five inch quad flying. It sure does. These props feel a little grippier, maybe. It's really hard, it's really hard to say. They definitely have a smoother feel than the Pyrodrome props. But again, it's really a slight difference. It could also be me changing the TPA. I don't even think that was full throttle, but I held it a little bit too long. Um, <laughs> was not expecting to hit the ground that fast. Everything about these toothpick size quads is way cheaper than a 5 inch. If you're just getting into FPV, this is a great way to do it. Much less risk uh, hitting yourself with the quad too. You can build one of these for what, $120 or a little bit less? So, yeah, it's a drop in the bucket compared to, you know, a 5-inch quad. And you don't have to worry about carrying a GoPro. Because it ain't happening. This weighs less than a GoPro. The other quad you saw with the GEP RC board is going to be an HD 3-inch build on a Toma Quads chopstick frame with 1106 6000 kV motors. Uh, hoping it comes in just over 100 grams all up weight and that those motors can handle spinning 3 inch reliably. We'll see. I think my battery is about done now. I wasn't really paying attention to the time. I'm way over two and a half minutes, which is what I usually get out of just about any battery quad size quad. <laughs> Motors ain't uh, hot. Back ones are a little warmer than the front, but shh, nothing. I can hold my fingers on them all day, and I was, I was hitting it hard. Um, hopefully, you can see where I hit the ground in that little power loop right in front of the camera, uh, testing to see if the uh, voltage spikes might kill this board. That was a pretty hard flight, and it took it like a champ. So, so far. Good job, uh, Gep RC. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep y'all up to date on my Primo, gnarly FPV Primo uh, quad and how it's doing. These props felt really good. Uh, the, the HD looks smoother than um, the Pyrodrome props. I don't know how that's possible. I mean, they they almost look identical, except for that little little extra little hump right there. It looks a little bit longer. I wish I had some tiny, tiny calipers I could measure that. But they felt great. They felt really, really smooth. See how the HD looks. I changed my PIDs a little to try to get a little more of the snap back. I was missing some snap with all that TPA. Um, I don't know. It didn't feel right. It, it looked a lot better this time. Hopefully it doesn't sound like shit in the HD with a bunch of oscillations. Oh, let me unplug my battery. Jesus. The battery was... <laughs> got over-discharged a little bit. We'll see. Like and subscribe, y'all. Woo, man. The whole flight controller is really hot. The Speed TX heats up everything though, man. Receiver's hot, yeah. The VTX way hotter than the motors. All right, good job, Jim fan. I like these props. Shit looks good with the red canopy, doesn't it?
Good job, Pyro Drone. I love these motors. Later. So that battery is at 10% after that flight, and I flew it a little too long, I would say. Everything looks good. We'll charge it back up. But yeah, flew good. I think I'm gonna mess with my PIDs a little bit more. I, I think I heard a little oscillation there. Maybe, it's hard to tell. But the motors don't get hot, and it looked good in the uh, FPV video, so psh, I'll keep sending it. I'll keep playing with it a little bit, a little bit at a time. I forgot to mention these props come in whiskey, smoke, and uh, this green. And I think they come in a couple of other colors that I didn't get, but uh, yeah, a little more color options. Uh, I know the smoke will probably be real popular. Run out and get yourself some. Mustang approved. Let's look at the PIDs that I was using for this flight. That's not PIDs. PIDs. So I had roll at 35, pitch at 45, and yaw at 45. And I just had eye all 45. I really don't know what to do with eye. And I had the D at 20. There's my rates, feed forward 175. That's pretty much what I run on my five inch quads. Now I had TPA set at 65, which is high. I normally set it at 18 for a five inch quad. And I had the break point at 1450, but I was still hearing a little oscillations when I got back on the throttle after a flip. I'm going to lower that down to 1350 and see how that does. I'm just going to have to keep playing with this. Because these little, this little quad on the GEP RC board, it did not like uh, a TPA of 18 or even 30. I think I had it at 40 and uh, 1650. Tried 1500. It was, still, it was still oscillating. It didn't stop until I got to where I am now. So we'll try 1350 and see how that does. This is a previous flight where I had the TPA at 30 or maybe 40, and I had the break point at 1500 or 1650, and you can you can hear listen you can hear all the oscillations. I'm really surprised the motors did not get hotter than they did, or just it drop out of the sky if you hear an oscillations like that you don't want to keep flying that uh, i wasn't actually listening to the quad because i listen to music when i fly so i can't even hear this thing unless it comes right over my head so yeah i didn't even know and i couldn't really see it in the fpv so i just kept on flying it's it's really only oscillating when you give it throttle it cruises fine which is what I'm trying to do with the TPA is still have my PIDs high for cruising but lower for when I'm giving it throttle. I just added this part at the end for anyone that's having oscillation problems. Uh, raise your TPA. Alright, thanks for watching y'all. Still shaking. Like and subscribe. I guess I could see it shaking, but it didn't look bad. Hmm, motors are pretty pretty warm. I can almost almost not hold my hand on it. Oh yeah, that one's hot. That one's hot. All right, I give up. Don't give up, y'all. That's a big ass 1,000 UF 25 volt capacitor. The bigger capacitor didn't help. These boards just don't like 3S.